Okay, a couple of people have uh, reported having some problems getting the error bars attached to the line with the birth graft. Um, the uh, error bars are derived from information which we have from line S, which is one of uh, Excel's array functions, therefore displays quantum weirdness. Um, so I thought I'd go through the method in the video. Uh, first thing we need to do, of course, is draw a graph. So we need a uh, XY scatter without any points. As usual, let's move that up there. Uh, we then put a trend line through that and extend the trend line back so that it'll go through both axes, which in this case we can probably manage with one. We want the equation on the chart. And so we're going to need those values to calculate k and v max. Okay, close that. That's worked out okay. Um, eventually, this is this is one you'll use to come uh, from your Michaelis Menten data. You'll use uh, to get k and v max, as I mentioned. Uh, when you do the one for the inhibitors, you probably don't need the rates. You're just interested in the shape and relationship of the various lines. Uh, so you'll end up with a bit, bit of a messy thing that looks, looks like that. Um, series 1, then you see 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever you've got. Compare them to something meaningful, and you can just delete the other bit by selecting this. Right, okay. So the next thing we want to do is put some error bars on here for these values. Um, in the previous method I circulated, I talked about creating a uh, area of the chart which is 2 by 4, four, win, four air cells deep. Actually, current method seems to allow for 2 by 5. So I've collect, selected a 2 by 5 area there, and I'm going to go to formulas, no functions, statistical, we want now to find line list. Right now, it's asking for some values. So the known values are for y, we want the errors on are these, known values from x, uh, 1 over s. Uh, there's a couple of other parameters which we just need to fill in by typing in the word true. Okay, this is where the, some of the weirdness comes in. What you need to do now is hold down Control and Shift, and then, with them still held down, press Enter. And the number of values appear here. Um, I'll, I'll take you to a link in a little bit which explains what they all are, but that's the one we're interested in. That is the uh, standard error for the uh, 1 upon V values. Okay, so we now need to add that standard error, which I'm just going to call, um, let's run with it, 119. Now, so we click on the chart, and we go to layout up here, and we go to error bars. And uh, display error bars, and uh, I want more error bars options is what we want. Uh, we can add the number in there, 118. Click on OK, and Excel puts in both horizontal and vertical error bars. So we select the horizontal ones, delete them, and there we are. Um, error bars added to your line with the birth graph. Okay, if you scroll down the page, I've summarized the method there. Um, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, just mentioned this website where it got, it got a lot of the information on what the new parameters are. So there's another line of parameters being added. And if you're interested, this website will explain them all. Uh, okay, so there we start off with the region cells 2 by 5 now going to forms, which is like more functions, statistical line, statistics, line asked. Said known y's to all one upon rate values, known x's to all one upon concentration and substrate values. Uh, constant statistics both set to true. Hold down control, shift, and press enter. And we get 118.9, which I've ended in as 119. Uh, just to save a little bit of remembering what I was typing in. And there we are. Hope that was useful.